Hey guys, how y'all doing? And welcome back to the channel. My name's David and I fix RVs. And today's project is this 20 amp in inlet. I've drilled, or I've sent a probe through here already. This is actually going in under the bed in the bedroom. And what I want to do is I want to add an outlet at the foot of the bed to plug a, a, an oil-filled heater into. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to cut this uh, outlet in here. Then I've got a 20 amp cord that we will use to feed power into this outlet. Then we'll jump out of the back of it with some Romex. Uh, to an actual outlet that, I, like I said, I'm going to cut in at the foot of the bed. Let's get started. So it looks like we're going to be using the 2-inch for this project. Uh, that will allow us to still be able to put screws into these uh, holes. Now we're down here at the foot of the bed. Let's see, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this box in horizontal down there as low as I can get it that way the cords not you know up in the air so this lip here is that's about the lowest point I can go to so I'm gonna put my uh, multi-tool right on the bottom of it <laughs> Want to throw some flexible metal conduit on here for extra protection. I do store stuff under the bed. Mice can't chew on it. They do have these color coded. You got your ground is green, and over here silver is for your, your your white, and then the black and the gold go together. Next, I'm gonna slide on my boot, and I'm still not sure if I can use this. Let's see if it fits in the hole. Well, it fits. We might be able to use it. Please take a number one Phillips. Get this outlet in. Since I'm using a remodel box, it is recommended to take off these side ears here because they kind of make your outlet stick out a bit. So I'm going to cut them off. Or not actually cut them off. You can also 
bend them like that. They come off pretty easy. Let's go back and forth a couple of times. And that's what it looks like when you're done. All right, now let's go plug it in and see if it works. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.